What's going on, beautiful beings and conscious co-creators? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am so excited and grateful um, to be here today. Uh, so today's video, we are going to be talking about your hater. Um, do you even have a hater? And more importantly, if you do, why are they hating on you? What is the reason for the hate? Now, if you guys are new here or, you know, have never even came across my channel at all. I am not a very superficial reader. I like to dive deep, okay? I'm short, and, or at least I try to be short and quick, but I don't like to give superficial reasons. I like to get a clear understanding. So if you're looking for something a little more easy on the ears, um, I'm definitely not the reader for you. I am giving you your out right now, so please take it. Otherwise, if you're ready to hear the truth, the whole truth and nothing but, Put on your seatbelt, get ready because we are about to jump right into this video, no hesitation. So first and foremost, if you are new to pick a cards, I have four cards in front of you. I need you guys to pick your deck, your group, your card. Um, I always put my card um, timestamps in the description box. So that's where they will be. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tiles in front so you can clearly see what we're doing. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, so you have your piles right in front of you. This is going to be group one, group two, group three, and group four. So once again, take a second to clear your mind, clear your thoughts, turn off all distractions, and focus on the pile that is calling out to you, the one that you can't take your eye off of. If the tiles help, Use that if it worked earlier, but just looking at the cards and you just want to meditate on that, go ahead. Either way, however you get there is what, you know, as long as you get there, that is what is most important. So you go ahead and do that. Take it, take a little peek into the description box for your timestamp. Go ahead and click that timestamp and I will see you at your pile. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, group one. So this is your reading. Let's go ahead and jump right in to it. So let's see let's just put from the bottom we have the ring master of scrutiny that's what it says try not to get the light ring master of scrutiny so what i'm seeing oh and i forgot to mention i, I every time i do an intro i swear i forget to mention something this pickle card is going to be different uh, than what I've done ever before, but I'm very excited about it. Um, so you guys are going to have a corresponding movie. And I feel like the reason why I wanted to do the movie uh, correspondence is because um, sometimes a movie can depict uh, more of what I'm talking about when you're thinking of certain situations or scenes. My pickle cards are always preferably 21 and up, you know, but if you're grown and mature, then fine. Um, but uh, I want to, to kind of give you that information ahead of time because um, a lot of my movies that I have kind of picked for the groups and probably moving forward in the future are probably going to be rated R um, and definitely for the grown folks out there. So I just wanted to keep that in mind that, you know, there's nothing kid friendly about my content. <laughs> Just to put that out there for you and for you too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The Ringmaster of Scrutiny came out and I knew immediately that you guys' um, movie after kind of pulling all the cards out, um, your movie was going to be the Players Club and I'll explain to you why. So if you've seen the Players Club, then kind of settle into what your hater is probably going to be on. Okay. Just, just to preface that. So anyway, this card comes in and I kind of see um, the hate coming from your hater being, be, being present because um, I feel like you may be putting yourself in situations that are so beneath you. Um, the people, I mean, I feel like this isn't maybe just one hater. This may be a, a small group of them, maybe like three people that just don't like you, can't stand you, doesn't matter what you do. Um, they kind of understand that you may be, you know, smarter than them. You you're, you don't belong where you're trying to fit in. And they're kind of a little envious of that. You know, you're smarter, you're, you're better. You're, there's something about you that is just a little bit more superior as far as capabilities, talents, what have you, that they're not able to get. And not because they can't, they're just not capable because of their own limited beliefs. So they try to dim your light. Um, these haters could be posing as friends but more like frenemies, like they don't really 
They don't care about you, even if they're trying to make it seem like they care about you or seem like they're on the same page or the same team as you. They're really not. This card is asking you to use um, your discernment to weed out who exactly in your circle, friends or family, who is really there for you and who's just putting on a front. Um, because I feel like with this card, um, there's there's like an agenda. Let me move that out of the way. Um, there are like hidden agendas uh, within this person uh, or this group of people. Um, not everyone is who they say they are. So you know, my advice to you guys is really to focus on yourself and stop worrying so much about um, leveling or helping people level up. You know, you may possibly have been called before. Maybe it's just kind of something that you have observed within yourself, um, but you are kind of like a fixer. You like to fix people. You like to help people. You see people where they are and you know where they can go. You see the, the possibility their potential and you go off of that instead of taking people for face value and, and taking people for who they are in that moment. And so definitely want to tell you to start focusing more on yourself and stop worrying about other people um, and to remember that it is not your job to make people better. Um, and it's actually distracting you from living your own truth in your own present. Um, so let's pull out the astrology. We have Cancer and we have a Grand Cross. So the Cancer card I'm seeing as once again, calling and asking you to use your wisdom and your discernment. You have a very mothering um, nature to you, a very nurturing, kind-hearted energy that comes from you. And I feel like that's what this hater is feeding on. Um, they view you to be easy to take advantage of. Um, you might actually probably have um, trouble saying no. Either way, creating boundaries uh, would be a good idea here because it's going to prevent people from walking over you. Um, some of those haters could also be in your family. Um, and so, or, you know, you're, you're like a family ecosystem, meaning like a close friend of yours. It's someone that I don't feel like you may be getting like certain vibes like, oh, I don't really know if this person is really on the same page or on the same team as me. There's always something about this person that's just off or a little different. Well, that's why, because your intuition is kind of telling you, hey, this person is not who they say they are. That's for some of you. And some of you already have an idea of like, okay, no, I knew it. This person is not here for me. And you just want to know, well, what is their problem, right? Well, their problem is that um, this person is constantly making excuses um, for for you. They're, they're making excuses as to why they do the the things that they do um, and kind of making you feel like, you know, like you should be, you should feel sorry for them, but really you don't, you don't need to feel sorry for them. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so what you need to do here is one, you need to stop making excuses for them. You need to acknowledge who they are as a person and how that person is, is treating you. And you need to ask yourself, do I deserve better? Because if the answer is yes, I deserve better, then you need to start expecting more from this person. Um, Grand Cross comes in and this is the provoker, provoker card, which is very interesting when we're talking about enemies and haters, right? Provoker, the provoker card, uh, Grand Cross comes in and it's like, um, they see you as unproblematic. They see you as non-confrontational, um, but they also see you as driven. And they really don't like that because um, they prefer to have you distracted and focused on them and their problems. And you believe that this is genuine because, you know, you probably are more of a genuine person. So it's hard for you to see someone as less than that, or maybe someone that is close to you as less than that because of the kind of person you are to others. Um, but in reality, you know, you um, are constantly, you know, stopping your momentum and your, um, you know, your need to try to go out and strive to accomplish your goals. You're stopping all of that to concern yourself with this person and their problems. Um, when really this person is probably a person who has had the same problems for the last five years. You've been telling this person the same exact thing for five years straight about the same situation, the same guy, the same job. They, they are, they are complaining about the same exact thing because it's not a, the person situation thing. It's a them. This, this is something about them. It's this, this, this person's thing. You know what I mean? Um, 
So right now you need to understand that um, it's really because they don't really, they don't, they don't have your best interest at heart. They don't want to see you succeed. Um, even if they make it seem like they do, like, and this person will show you in many ways their true colors. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you at your best. They don't want to see you leveling up. Um, they don't want to celebrate your, your accomplishments. They, they want to bring you down. Um, it's as if you are in an unhealthy, comp they're, they're in an unhealthy competition with you and um, they want to win by um, posing to be your friend and posing to be on the same side when, you know, really the only side that they're on is, is their own side. Um, so let's see. So this card says the void, the void. It says stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb, okay? So the void comes in and it's telling me um, that you need to stop giving them the satisfaction, okay? This is the advice card that I picked for um, all of my um, groups. If my card would focus, focus. And anybody who knows uh, what movie that's off of is getting 10 cool pop points, 10 cool points for the person who remembers this. I'll do it again. Focus, focus. There we go. Um, so anyway, I lost my train of thought. This card, um, this card is telling you to um, stop, stop everything, halt dead hope. Stop telling them your plans. Stop telling them your dreams, the hopes that you have in the future for your life, for your love life. Stop telling them your business, okay? This person or whoever these people are, they curse you with their words, okay? Distance yourself is definitely something that I'm seeing in this card as well. Spend time regrouping and um, dismiss the negative, the, the negativity, the negative vibes that you're getting from these people. Um, because that's all that these people are really bringing to the table. So you need to just go ahead and just dismiss that and move on skirt, bye, you know, and remember that you're better off alone and in solitude. So you need to get back to, you know, yourself. So like, so now we're going to bring in the tarot so that we can kind of wrap everything up. I'm going to move some of this stuff over. Okay. So we have the eight of swords. We have the three of swords, eight of pentacles, four of swords, and the chariot card here. So oh, that actually brings in nice light. What are you looking for? It's over here. Mm -hmm. So we have, so let's just go through the tarot again, eight of swords, three of swords, eight of pentacles, four of swords, and then we have the chariot card right here. Um, so whoever this person is or these people, I'm just going to say person from here on out just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Um, whoever this person is, they have um, probably guilt tripped you into sticking around um, in their life. And they have found a way to blame you for some of their shortcomings or making you feel like obligated, like this sense of attachment to them and making sure that they're they're going to be OK. They kind of like mentally tricked you into making their problems your problems and something that y'all need to fix together, which is incredibly toxic, by the way. Um, they have found a way to. Um, yeah, they just found a way to really blame you. So it's caused you to kind of, you know, feel stuck. Um, and so I, I'm seeing this, this, this message coming for you guys where it's like, don't feel hopeless and don't feel stuck in this web of deceit that this person has created. Um, so if just for some of you, because I don't think this is all of you, but some of you, if there is any truth at all to what this person is saying that's causing this Eight of Swords energy right here, if there is anything that they have said, or in the and the Three of Swords right here, if they have said anything, or you, if, if anything that they have said, there's any sort of truth to it, meaning there was maybe a situation where, you know, it was just a series of unfortunate events that, you know, cause them to, you know, get the short end of the stick. And maybe there is a little guilt that you have about that. And that's why they're using that to kind of, you know, continue to surround you with swords. Mm. Um, if there is any of that, ask for forgiveness from that person. And even if they forgive you or not, that's on them. As long as you genuinely say, look, I am so sorry for what happened in this situation. Um, once you do that, then go and forgive yourself. Super, super important. Forgive yourself, okay? You are not perfect. Um, and you, nobody should have to constantly pay over and over and over again for 
um, something that happened in their past that they have genuinely grown from and moved on. And don't let that person cause you to feel trapped in that situation, okay? Whatever happened, ask for forgiveness from that person. Forgive yourself. Give yourself permission to be forgiven. Whether they forgive you or not, forgive yourself for it and move on. Don't stay stuck in this energy right here. Don't stay stuck there, okay? Forgive yourself and move on with your life. It is not your responsibility to make sure that they forgive you. And, you know, don't allow them to keep you there. Don't, don't allow them to keep you in your past. Move on. Um, I see that there's a lot of hurt and betrayal with this person. Um, expectations are not met. Lies, deceit, selfishness. All the energy is just like this person is stuck in whatever happened. And they want you to be stuck too. Don't, don't stay stuck. It's toxic. Continue to move on. Um, with your life. Go back to focusing on yourself. Eight of Pentacles, focus on yourself. Concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on doing the things that make you happy, doing the things that you know you're supposed to do to um, create the things in your reality that you want to have, whether that's, you know, money, whether that's a relationship, whether that is a house, whatever it is that you want. Make sure your actions are lining up with the, with your desires so that you can start to manifest and build things, okay? Um, now we have Four of Swords and the Chariot card. Um, I would say stop hanging around them. Take a break from them, okay? Um, they don't mean you any good. They really don't. Uh, so take some time to yourself. Get back to you. Get back to what you were doing before, you know, you really became super close with them. If you can do that, um, focus on the things that brought you fulfillment. Um, and remember that you deserve happiness, okay? You deserve so much better than this. Um, so yeah, that is your reading. I told you guys I'm quick. Um, if this meeting, if this meeting, <laughs> it did kind of feel like a little meeting though, but if this reading resonated in any way, I say I'm very grateful for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Thank you guys for sending me positive vibes and loving on me. I so appreciate you guys. You have no idea. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just grateful for that. And um, I'm sending you guys just positivity, peace, love, and light as always. I'm going to go ahead and go to group number two, but I will see you guys, uh, group one, in my next video. Okay. Bye. What's going on at group two? We are here for your reading. So one of the things that I forgot to tell you guys about in the intro, which I always forget to say something in the intro, I should write this down. Um, but in this reading, we're doing a little, something a little different and we are, I'm, I'm actually gonna include a movie. Now the movie may be rated whatever. I'm not worried about the ratings. My content is not kid friendly in the first place. So I'm just saying that you guys, I'm saying that for the new people, the old people and for YouTube especially. Um, so um, each group is going to have a corresponding movie. Okay. And um, I'm doing that because I want you guys, if you have seen the movie before, I want you guys to kind of focus on um, the overall tone and theme of the movie and to get an idea of your hater and what your hater may be doing or maybe on okay you know kind of just like oh, okay that's the vibe i'm getting from my enemy you know that makes sense or my hater or whatever okay so you guys happen to have um the movie obsessed and i don't know if you guys have seen it i'll include a picture of the cover of the movie so you guys if you're not familiar um and i encourage some of you guys if you have the ability to to look at the movie um so yeah anyway your movie is obsessed, okay? And that is with the beautiful Beyonce and the fabulous Idris Elba. And the other girl that I can't remember, but that's the villain in the movie. And she did a phenomenal job. I just can't think of her name right now. Um, but I will include a picture of the movie for you guys. But the movie is called Obsessed. And if you've seen the movie, then you know what that was all about. And the girl trying to push up on her man and, you know, we couldn't have that. So anyway, that's the movie for you guys, group two, just to give you a little snippet of like the tone I got from these cards that we pulled. So let's just go ahead and start with the bottom of the deck. All these cards were read up right, by the way. I just wanna let you guys know, um, know that. So yeah, let me make sure they're upright. <laughs> so the first card we had was um, Ice Queen. Ice Queen. So um, this card is, is kind of giving me an idea of who this person is. And this person is 
very jealous of the relationship that you're in. They're a hater of your relationship, basically. They want what they can't have. Um, they see you happy in your relationship. Now, this is not going to resonate with everyone. So if this is not resonating with you, um, you can continue to watch and you know stick around for the other things that may be coming out of this reading. Um, but I feel like those of you guys who are in relationships specifically, if you have a hater, like that's what it is. Um, maybe in some ways you're public with your relationship or they just are aware of your relationship and they're jealous of it. Um, they see you happy and it makes them angry. Um, they don't, I think, I think they just kind of don't believe that, you know, you should be with this person that you're with, that you don't deserve them, him or her, whoever your partner is. Um, and so this person, I just want to let you know, is, is very much capable and possibly willing to come in between you and your partner, you know, pulling a Porsche. <laughs> anyway, um, do not let this person near your family. I just want to put that out there. I'm, I'm feeling strongly about that. So what I'm saying so far resonates. Um, if this person is in your life, do not let this person near your family, your kids, your partner, specifically your partner. Um, this person does not share the same morals, ethics, or values that you do. Um, so believing that they do is going to be a foolish thing, um, essentially, to do in this situation. They are very self-centered and spoiled. Um, they are they're okay taking things that really do not belong to them. Um, so I would completely ignore this person. I, if, it, if I were you, this person wouldn't even be um, a person in my life anymore, honestly. Um, if you're feeling this exact energy, if what I'm saying is more confirming for you, then that's what I would do. I, Cause I, I mean, but I'm different from most people. I don't have time for, I'm not pressed for relationships and neither should you be, but, Specifically me, I'm not pressed for relationships. So as soon as I recognize that a person is just like toxic or a person just doesn't have my best interest or it's a person that I have to watch my back or, you know, I, I can't, you know, I have to watch them in my house. Like, I don't want that person in my life. So, you know, you make the decision best for you, but I'm just keep telling you what I would do. Um, so, yeah, just letting you know. Um, their only agenda, I feel like, is to, um, is, is, is they, they just want to get to you. They're agreeing with envy about your life, okay? They're very jealous. I said that earlier. Um, there's something about you that triggers them. I mean, they, I, I just, I don't know. It's just like, they just want to be you. Um, they think that um, they will be happy if they take your place. Um, and, you know, if they can't, then they're just perfectly fine, fine with splitting up your family. Um, so they will attempt to separate and block your blessings. Um, this is a hater that just really doesn't do well with confrontation. So if you did go up to them and, and ask them, like, what's your problem? What's your deal? They're not going to tell you the truth. They're not going to tell you, well, this is what I'm feeling. They're going to play the victim and figure out a way to turn around and make it look like you're the mean girl in the situation. Um, for astrology, we have Libra. And we have moon. Moon. I can't show you these cards up close because the, they're so reflective. They're probably one of the most beautiful, visually beautiful cards I have, but they suck as far as <laughs> coming up on camera correctly. Um, so um, let's talk about uh, the moon card for, for right now. So the moon card comes in, right? And it's like, it's telling me that this, this hater has like multiple faces and personalities. Um, they can be who they need to be to get where they want to get. They're like a chameleon. Um, they don't really care about consequences. And to me, it's just like, this feels like a very dangerous person. Like, I don't like people who don't share. Not, okay, I'm going to say it like that. I don't... Um, People who are willing to go beyond where I'm willing to go to get what they want when it comes to like being perfectly fine, being destructive for no reason and just being vengeful for no reason or for, for no real like ethical reason um, are people that I identify as dangerous. I just do. And I feel like this person <laughs> is that uh, anything positive that happens to you, like, you know, they just, they're going to curse. So like, you know, you get a new car, you get a new house, you announce your pregnancy, you get a job promotion, you, you get a wedding proposal, um, and they're going to curse that. And they're going to work hard to bring negativity into your life. Why? Just because you are who you are. I think you just have, you just happen to have a, this person, I will say, happens to have a level of attachment to you where um, they just, they're green with envy. You know what I mean? Um, don't stop being you though. I will say that. Follow your gut keep your distance as I'm saying before if you notice I'll keep repeating the same thing not because I just want to just be that person to you but 
um, sometimes when I'm channeling, spirit is like, nope, say it again. They didn't hear it. Say it again. They didn't hear it. So just bear with me. Um, but I definitely want to say from this card, I'm also saying, you know, treat them like you would a wild animal and just stay away. Okay. Stay away. Um, Libra comes in and this card is like, to me, it's saying protect yourself and your family with spiritual work. I would definitely recommend a protection spell. Um, hell, if you are like me and you're like, look, I don't want to part to this fuckery, you know, I would do a banishment spell. Like I would, I would banish their ass. I'm not even playing because they said, I, once again, like I said, I'm different. I don't have, I don't have the patience. I'm a Scorpio rising. Okay. I don't have the patience or the tolerance. Like, no, you, you gotta go. You gotta go. I've already perceived you. I, I already, I peep you and you gotta go. So, um, but yeah, I definitely say do spiritual work, protection spell, banishment spell, spell. Um, keep your, keep the details about your relationship and your family to yourself. Um, definitely not around this person. And I'm not saying you would tell this person, but even people that you know are cool with this person, I because I, I see this person even inquiring about you to people that you know. It's just, this person's crazy. Um, do not offer up, um, you know, your life uh, to the public in a detailed way. So if you like to share your life online, if you're a blogger or a blogger and you like to share your family, that's cool. Just be very careful about specifics, even things that you may not see as a big deal or things that you may not see as being detailed. Um, like, for example, maybe unless it's a, a, a really big retail store, if it's a smaller store known local to your area, maybe think twice before sharing the location of that place, you know, um, definitely make sure you're being aware of like how much you're showing of your house. It's like I said, I just feel like this person is crazy and until you banish them. Um, until you do work to remove them from your life, be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Someone needs to hear that. I don't mean to scare you guys, but this shit is reality. You know what I mean? And it's not to cause fear because and I want to bring this up to you guys group too, but um, fear is a mental state. Fear is a mindset. Okay. So fear is in your head. Danger is a real thing, but fear is the response. This that's the chosen response to whatever is happening. So I'm not telling you to be afraid. I'm telling you to be careful and mindful because I do feel like this person can be um, moved to a very dangerous place, and you need to be able to handle that. Okay, so just putting that out there. It may be a little hard pill for you guys to swallow, but spirit needed this to be said to somebody. Okay, so. Um, I would also say uh, to you guys, um, you know, the loving relationship, keep it close to your heart. OK, um, keep your like I said, keep your keep your relationship, you know, the details, keep it private for right now. Um, yeah, there's something there's something they can't help but hate on you about. It's so weird. It's like it's like there's no I don't think you did anything like group one. I felt like there was something that this person was holding on to. And that's why. But for you guys, I think you're just existence. Like you just have a genuine <laughs> hater. I mean, they're a fan, though. They're a fan, but they're a hater. You know, so it's one of those type of things where they, they they like they they're just trying to study you. They're trying to figure out what is it about her that makes him da, 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 or whatever. They just they don't understand it. Um, but yeah, once again, I can't stress this enough, especially with the Libra your family, the people that you care about, I would definitely say uh, protection spell, find your, you know, favorite witch or, um, you know, magic practitioner and uh, go ahead and get a protection spell. Okay. Um, let's see. This is an advice card specifically for advice, even though I offer advice whenever I feel I need to, but this card was pull, pulled specifically with the intentions of getting advice for you guys. So we have, uh, what does it say? Cracked open. Hold on. Cracked open. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it says rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Alchemy of life. Ooh. So I feel like this card is coming in. And what I want to say, I feel like this person has had a difficult life of their own. Um, there was suffering and trauma, definitely some pain and tragedy that they, you know, obviously have not healed from. Um, and what they're doing is projecting this on other people like you who seemingly have it all together. It doesn't matter whether you have it together or not. They they look at you and they think you have it all together. So I would like your life. That's kind of they are. Um, this person really should go and seek um, therapy or someone that they can talk to to kind of, you know, release some of this this pent up energy they have uh, regarding the situations that have happened in their past. Um, 
they, um, so, but anyway, this person right now, just, they don't know how to acquire things for themselves. And so that's why they are okay with taking things that is, that are, that's not theirs. Um, and, you know, it's also why they're okay with, you know, if they're not able to take it, then that's what that's, they're okay with, you know, trying to, you know, remove it from your own self, um, from your own self. That's why they'll try to come in between that if they can't take it out right, because they don't, they don't know another way to go about, you know, getting the things that they desire in their life. And, and also, um, they, um, you ever seen like keyboard thugs that like just say whatever they want on the computer, but won't say any of that to your face. It's just, it's just people who just, you know, there's no real reason why they don't like you. Right. That's what this person is. You know, it's all bark um, and no bite when it comes to, um, you know, again, confrontation as far as like you coming up to them and being like, Hey, what's good? Like, let's, let's settle it. They're not going to, they're not going to take responsibility or accountability. Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was, uh, something happened. So I have to put my cards down and hurry up anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and go into your, uh, tarot deck. So right now we have the queen of swords. We have the ace of the cups, the justice card, six of pentacles, and we have the nine of pentacles. All right. So immediately I'm hearing speak for your speak up for yourself. Okay, I'm seeing that, you know, if you see a truth, call it out. Don't be meek, you know, speak your truth. Um, don't be afraid to block someone and don't even be afraid to go the legal route. If you really feel like, again, I said you guys' this movie was obsessed. Okay, so you have to understand this person is a little ruthless. Um, so, no, this isn't really a game in that sense. So, you know, if you feel compelled to go the legal route, um, and, and, and that's what you feel, you know, resonates with you, then go that way. Don't let anybody, you know, say that you're overreacting. If you feel like you need to do what you need to do to protect yours, then do it. Um, you know, remember that, you know, you are in a position to call the shots. Okay. So continue doing what you love and, you know, you're going to be successful. I definitely see the ace of cups, like you're going to be successful. Um, and what it is that you're doing. I mean, because some, sometimes, for some reason, I feel like you guys are probably like, you do some kind of like public appearancing, appearance, or you're, you're in the public in some sort of way. And maybe you're just really popular in your area. People know you basically. Um, and so I'm saying, don't stop with your doing. Don't feel like you can't um, post or vlog or, you know, you know, have fun or whatever. Um, you know, I just, like I said, just make sure you have thick skin. I will say that, um, you know, you know, you, you know, like I said, this person, they had the ability to be that keyboard gangster, you know, come in here and, you know, type rude things about you online, um, dislike all your stuff, you know, whatever, vicious stuff, just unnecessary stuff, which by the way, I don't, I never understand why people do that on this platform. Like I've never, ever, I've, I've watched, I've been on YouTube, like watching YouTube and been a, a YouTube, like just fan, you know, since 2010, 2009, 2010, basically when it first started. And I have never, ever liked, like disliked a video. I've never done that. I, um, if I come across someone's content, that's just not really particularly for me. I take that as, you know what, I'm not that person's target audience. So let me go on to someone else. I don't know why people take the time out to dislike videos or to comment mean negative things. I just think that's the most disgusting thing that a keyboard gangster can do. Like, it's just like, you don't have any other, you have nothing else to do with your life than to type out rude, negative things to people. Like I'm seeing people literally get harassed and bullied online and it's just, it's disgusting. It's in there. I see it a, lot, a, a bit of influencers speaking out about it, but like, I don't know. I just, I never get that. Like it, I, you know, I understand a lot of people go through things in their life and, you know, and I think also I get a lot of people feel like, you know, they're entitled to their own opinion and you are, but like, it's just like you, people's entitlement and people's opinion is one thing, but like straight up bullying or harassing someone or going out of your way to tell someone you don't like them. It's just, it's stupid to me. It's just like, okay, you don't like me. Now what? You know what I mean? Like move on. Like when in the real world do you go up to somebody and say, Hey, I don't like you. Like, cool. What do you do now? Like, where do we go from here? Like, Go live your life. It's just, it's so fascinating how people turn into someone completely different 
online. I won't understand that. I, I really don't get it. But anyway, I want you guys to understand because and I'm saying all of this to say, like, you may be in a situation where where I'm coming from, where you're like, look, I have been getting some hate. I have been getting some, you know, negative feedback from whatever it is that I'm doing and I don't understand why. And I'm just letting you know, you have some, you have, you have jealous people, you know, whether you know them in person or whether they just know your online presence and think that they know you, um, you have very jealous people and I don't want you to get disheartened. I don't want you to feel like you can't do the things that you love and that it won't pay off because you, you feel this, this, this hate or this jealousy. Um, because Six of Pentacles is out here. So it's just like, no, you're going to be put in positions where you're going to be able to not only receive blessings and, you know, find those people, those, those, those diehard fans of yours who just love you and shower you with, you know, positivity and positive vibes and just get good energy, right? Um, and you'll be able to reciprocate that as well. So it's going to be a very good, like, moment of just merriment right here. So don't feel discouraged. And that karma is going to come for those people. I want to put that out there too. Um, even with that protection spell, you know, you do that banishment spell for the people who are physically in your life. Um, know that that karma is coming right back around. And so there's going to be some balance restored. We had Libra back here too as well um, with the scale. So now we're having a lot of Libra energy where it's like there's going to be some balance where, you know, you're going to have, you may have the hate, but you're going to have so much love as well. Okay. So please understand that. Um, I also want to point out, excuse me, um, make sure that, listen. So, so what I was saying earlier about making sure you have thick skin, that's, that's why, because of that, you know, negativity that, you know, you can't let it get to you. Um, and so, but I want to put in here and say like, you know, make sure we'll put this message in here is what I was trying to say. Make sure you don't stoop to their level. Okay. Don't, don't, like I said, they're not, they're not here for confrontation. It's that Jezebel energy too. Like they're not here for confrontation. They're going to deny it. They're going to say, what are you talking about? I wasn't like that stupid shit. So confrontating, confrontating, confrontation is not going to do you a service at all. So don't stoop to their level. Um, like I said, they'll receive their karma. Just make sure you protect your family um, and keep living fabulously because it is Nine of Pentacles paying off and you are going to begin to um, really love what you uh, begin reaping. OK, so focus on that and let the spirits, um, whether you work with spirit, like whether you're conjuring for protection and banishment or working with herbs, whatever you do, um, um, just know that, you know, let trust in that and then do you. OK. All right. So um, if this message resonates with you guys, group two, Ashe, I'm grateful for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and rocking with me. Thank you for, for subscribing. I so appreciate you guys. You have no idea. Um, I'm just so grateful for that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out. As always, I'm giving you guys so much peace, positivity, love, and light, and more importantly, healing. Okay. Um, I wish you well in your journey. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys in my next reading. All right. Bye. What's going on group three? I am so excited for your reading. I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video because I always forget to mention something, but um, you guys in this reading are going to it's, kind of, it's very different, okay? I am including a movie. It's a theme for your overall, um, you know, your overall energy. I picked this movie in my head, like, as I, you know, as the cards were kind of coming out in the pre-shuffle. So, you know, the movie and um, groups one and two had a very adult-centered -cent movie. Um, so I just want to kind of let you guys know that because your movie, you're going to be like, what the hell? Um, but your movie is um, Toy Story, okay? Why? <laughs> Why? Because I, I wanted you guys to understand the nature of your enemy, your hater, whatever you want to call them. Um, and it's comparable to Woody and Buzz Lightyear. OK, I'm a Disney freak. So you got you got Toy Story. All right. Um, this is still not a kid show, but um, just give give that movie. And I, you know, I told group two, like, you know, if you haven't seen the movie, 
go ahead and watch the movie. Or if you've seen it and it's been a little while since you've seen it, go ahead and refresh your, 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 you know, yourselves on it. But yeah, the movie here is, is Toy Story because again, it's that, you know, Woody and Buzz Lightyear and, you know, are, are they really enemies or are they actually friends that just have to find an understanding and a, and a common ground? And I felt like as the cars were coming out for you guys in pre-shuffle, that, that's, that was the energy I was getting. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start. So we have the winged ones. Winged or winged, I say it differently every time. So if you pull another video of mine and I said winged, you know, look, whatever. It depends on, you know, it depends on how I'm feeling. But I'm going to say winged <laughs> today. But this is the winged one, the winged wise ones, okay? Say that 10 times fast, right? Um, and this card is coming in. And um, I find it very funny because, like, <laughs> um, this is one of the sweetest cards. In fact, in the book, it's like this card. So this 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 deck right here. Okay, so I went to grab um, I went to grab uh, the deck that I used for this. So um, in this deck, uh, the author made it to where this card they come in challenger positions and ally positions. Ally positions are facing up. Challenger position would come in reverse. Now these cards typically, like when I do pick the cards, I prefer them to be um, upright, but unless I'm specifically called for them to be in reverse, I'll leave them be. Um, but this card, and there's a couple, like maybe like two or three cards in here that uh, do not have a challenger position at all, meaning it is a positive card through and through. And the reason why I'm saying that, if you haven't caught on yet, is because um, for us, for this to be a, you know, enemy hater video, like why, why, why is this person hating on you? For this to be that type of video, and for you to pull a card upright and a card that does not um, have a challenger position, meaning it doesn't have a negative struggle. Um, opposite meaning is very interesting. So the words associated, which I want to make sure you understand, the words associated are angelic help and um, miraculous aid. Again, not giving me, you know, hater enemy vibes, okay? And so that's why I was like, this feels like Woody and Buzz Lightyear, where it's just a really big misunderstanding. And you guys are actually, you know, you have the potential to be really good friends. Um, so let's just go ahead and start. Um, Oh, let me, I never really talked about this card, did I? So when this card comes out, um, this card is, is coming out to remind you um, that divine intervention is taking place. And also to let you know, if, in case you didn't know, that you are currently being protected from, uh, <laughs> protected from, you are currently being protected by your angels, guides, and your ancestors alike. So when I saw this, my question immediately was to anyone who um, is going to pick group three, why do you consider this person an enemy? You know, is it because they rub you the wrong way? Um, could it be, you know, you're misinterpreting the reason um, as to why they're in your life in the first place or the method in which they go about aiding you? Um, for some, this like quote unquote hater um, is actually you know, kind of like your angel here on earth who is sent to, you know, essentially look over you and watch after you. Um, so one of the things I want to challenge you guys is to meditate on this person, raised to a um, higher level of consciousness where you can find out um, from a higher point of view um, whether or not this person is a real, true hater. Um, I feel that they believe in you more than you may yourself at some times, um, which can be annoying um, because this, this person seems to be someone who's going to speak their mind. And like I said, it could just be rubbing you the wrong way. It could just be, you know, a unintentional competition that has started. Um, I honestly, I just feel like this is one big misunderstanding. <laughs> That's the energy I'm feeling. Now, again, this isn't going to resonate for everyone, but this is what I'm feeling from this card. So this may not be your card in this reading, but, you know, stay tuned, right? Um, now, I want to say that um, for whatever reason, um, the person who you're thinking about when you pick this card, um, like, they may be older or, or like, old soul type. Um, so it's like the things that they say or the, the way they go about things may be a little outdated. It may be a little rusty. It may be a little... You know, you feel insincere or like this person doesn't really care, even though they're telling you they care, you're not reading it as caring. That's just because they're just they're different. They probably come from a different time. Um, but um the description of this card in the book, I remember reading it literally says um heavenly beings 
are watching you, watching over you. Heavenly beings, I'm saying that we're really weird. I'm sorry, but that's just how I say the word. But heavenly beings are watching over you. So like I said, again, not giving me a vibe of like them hating on you. Um, we have earth element and grand train. And again, the words are so fascinating to me. Stability and blessings. Again, not giving me, you know, negative vibes. Earth element comes in and I'm just like, okay, this person may be a, dom a dominant earth sign, right? So you could be dealing with a Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. Um, this person is essentially here to keep you grounded. So you may have a lot of water in your sign, um, in, your, in your chart rather. So you may be a water sign that is Pisces, that is um, Scorpio and... Um, I, I don't know why exactly I went backwards, but, um, or cancers. <laughs> I don't know why I went backwards. But anyway, um, uh, so like this person is here to keep you grounded and centered. Um, I feel like this person is a little older than you um, and they just, they're meant to look out for you. And because they're earth sign, they may be a little more stubborn than you're used to. And it may be very irritating to communicate with you, or maybe they are having trouble communicating with you. Um, their intentions, which causes spikes or probably drama, necessary drama. Um, and they really could work on that. They could work on not letting their earthly limitations get in the way of the reason why they're here. But then again, again, I'm not seeing this person as a threat to you, as I did in the other two groups. Uh, Grand Trine comes in, right? And it's like, I, I feel like a, an honest conversation needs to be had. I feel like a lot of this could, like I said, I keep going back to this just feels like a really, really big misunderstanding that if we just all sat down at the table with a glass of wine and talked it out, I feel like there would be an understanding of like, oh, okay, so, you know, I get it now. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like this card carries the essence of like harmony and appreciation. Um, and so again, I feel like this person is not really a foe of yours. This card is meant, this card means that like, you know, the relationship you have with this person um, can and will get better. Um, and I believe that you will grow to see this person as a actual blessing in disguise. Okay. So um, this card here, I pulled as an advice card specifically, even though I've given you advice already, but like this card, the intention was, hey, these people need some advice. What's the card? And so we have here, it says seven sisters or the seven star sisters. If only I could read, right? The seven star sisters. It says, oh, and the words associated are birthing, birthing creations, tapestry of life and expression, right? So um, this card, it's like, hmm. I know in the book, it puts it, you know, um, this will be birth from you, like an idea, a creation will be birth from you, right? And it is your job um, to birth it. You've been tasked with like figuring out what exactly it is, but there's something brewing in you. And you've probably always been a very, you know, dreamy person, a very highly creative person. Um, you probably, and not even just like as far as the arts, it could be in science, like you could like to, you know, experiment in, on a science level or an artistic level, what have you. Um, but, you know, I could see you inventing a, a way to do something that makes it easier for people. Um, so, but whatever it is that's supposed to be birthed from you, this idea, this concept, this invention, what have you, um, I feel like this person is here to help you with that, okay? This person is on your team. I feel like um and i feel like um this like whatever this project is like like you will need help and so it's kind of like when, it, when i mentioned like the words birth like this card says birth and creations i wanted you guys because I, I i see in like almost like in an imagery kind of way um imagery kind of way no I see this <laughs> like um, on a play on of words, like consider this person as like your midwife, okay? So yes, you were gonna be doing the heavy lift lifting. Yes, this is your idea, your concept and everything, but you will need assistance in carrying this project through. And I think that um, it just kind of highlights once again that this person that you're identifying as a hater um, is actually here to help you with this project. Now for the tarot, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, the Emperor, and we have the Knight of Wands. So opportunities are coming 
to you. Um, and you need to be ready to take those on. Um, I feel like this person that we're talking about and have been talking about this whole time, I feel like this person, this person is the emperor of freedom. Okay. And that's why I was saying, you know, earlier, like, you know, this person is, is earthy, even though this is an Aries card. I know it's an Aries card. But at the same time, the energy of this card is authority, it's preparation, it's structure, okay? And I think that's what this person is bringing to you, is that structure, you know, to keep you grounded while you continue to work so you don't float off, okay? And so it's like, you know, you can focus while they have your back, essentially. Um, I do feel like this person has the ability to be incredibly loyal. So once you understand your assignment um, and you're not lingering around, I feel like this is what's going to help both of y'all get on the same page where you're just like, okay, we can spring into action because we know exactly what we need to do. The Queen of Cups is coming in to reinforce uh, kind of what I was saying earlier about this person being more of a guide than a hater or a foe. Um, I feel like this person is, you know, more connected to the spirit world than you are right now. And so they perceive things on a deeper level than you presently do. And I feel like this is why, once again, I'll say it, um, you need to raise the frequency of how you interpret everything. Um, and I think once you get to that place, you'll understand um, who this person truly is and what they're here to do for you or with you. So yeah <laughs> that is your reading it's a little different it's not going to be for everybody but if you did receive anything out of this reading then i say i'm grateful for that thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it thank you guys for subscribing and rocking with me um words do not express express the, the, the gratitude i have for that so i say um i um, am going to go to the last word group four but for you guys as always i'm sending you love light positivity and more importantly healing all right into your life and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video right okay bye what's going on in group four we are here for your reading we're gonna go ahead and get started i did forget to mention in the first video that <laughs> i don't know why but i forgot to mention that um each group is going to have their own movie um and this movie is basically um supposed to give you guys the the, the idea of the enemy the hater that i had you know i was picking up on like when i was pulling these cards in free shuffle so um some of these movies i know a couple of these groups had movies that were very grown because i am a uh, I'm not a kid friendly channel, but um, group three had a Disney channel, a, a Disney movie. So it was really funny. So I am not biased. Okay. Whatever movie comes to mind is what I feel like spirit is wanting me to put on here. So I'm going to do that. Um, so if it's random, then that's just what it is. Uh, but anyway, you guys group four, um, I was kind of meditating on, the, on your specific movie and yours did not come as easily as the other three. I will say that, but I did end up landing on a movie for you guys that I feel is most appropriate for your reading. And the movie is called My Sister's Keeper. And I will put a picture of the movie on the screen so you guys can see it. And if you have not moved, if you have not watched the movie and you're able to, I definitely would say to look at the movie. If um, if you have seen it and it's been a while, then go ahead and refresh your memory. Um, just so you can get an idea of maybe the energy that I was picking up as the cars are being pulled and pre-shuffled. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the bottom. I am reading these, uh, this deck in upright position just to let you guys know. So we have the prison weight. Um, and so this card is very interesting. The words corresponding are self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness. Interesting. Um, this person is, um, they're hating on you because they're insecure. Um, they struggle with a lot of inner conflicts. They, you know, um, I, I feel like there's some dark energy and possibly a uh, demonic energy and not demonic in Hollywood sense. Sometimes I really hate saying words like that because we, we, a lot of us don't know better. So we still, we lean to Hollywood's understanding of shit. And um, that's not what I mean, but <laughs> I just needed to say it for whoever that was for. Um, they do not understand how to break 
themselves out of this mental prison that they're in. And so they see you and they see everything that they are not. They are comparing themselves to you. And it is, you know, it's really causing them to suffer even more. Um, the limiting beliefs uh, that they have are causing them to feel sorry for themselves and um, possibly responded of anger. Um, so they may say hurtful things to you. Why? Well, because hurt people hurt people and misery loves company. Um, this is parasitic and toxic in nature. So if you are close to this person, I would advise you to establish boundaries as soon as possible. Um, and um, I do not, I don't get the feeling that they're dangerous because we talked about a dangerous one in group two. So I don't feel like the, this is dangerous for you, but I do feel like your hater needs a leash or fence, or maybe even a stone wall. That's entirely up to you. But I will say that they must um, stay there and restrain until they are ready to step out of this victimhood and take some responsibility for creating the reality and life that they want to live instead of you know, letting life happen to them. Um, they have a poverty mindset, meaning um, they are expecting someone to come and save them. They are expecting um, to come up on someone that will, you know, um, like, they, they, like they're expecting someone to like come to them while they're sitting with their hand out and just, you know, pay their bills or, you know, whatever, um, instead of actually taking life by their reins. Um, so that's the kind of person we're dealing with. So for the astrology deck, we have um, fire element and we have Aquarius. Interesting. Um, for Aquarius, let's talk about no, let's talk about fire. <laughs> let's talk about fire. I'm an Aries, so let's just me first, me first, right? Um, this hater is extremely hard on themselves. They view themselves as a failure. They make excuses for themselves because you know it makes it makes them it makes them feel better about the situation. It makes them feel like, well, there's nothing I can do, so let me just feel. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of person they are. Um, so tension is caused when they see you living your life and they get jealous. You know, when things seem to go your way because things don't seem to work out for them or they've just been gift, you know, they've been kind of, uh, they just, they had an unlucky hand at, at some of the aspects of their life. Um, so uh, this person um, or these people feel um, like you don't have, oops, shaking the camera. This, this, this person feels like they don't have, that you don't have to work hard, not them, that you don't have to work hard for what you know you have and they do. And they don't feel like it's fair. Um, now, me, you and me both know that the reality is that you are a focused person, that you are patient, and you are very diligent about the things that you have to do in order to acquire what you have acquired in life. And maybe you don't share that part of your story or your journey with people. Um, and so they only see it as, you know, well, everything happens for you, right? Um, and Side note, I feel like some of you, even though we did have fire element, um, it could be it could be fire, but also earth in your chart that you have a lot. So that's um, fire, of course, is Aries, Sag, and why do I always skip? Aries, Leo, and Sag, and then the earth is Taurus, Virgo, and Cap, okay? So you can have that all in your chart. Um, but I'm also, because I, I feel like with this card also, with this desire thing, you know, you, you're not really a public person when it comes to what you're working on. You keep that stuff very low key until you're ready to present it. And that's why I feel like there's earth energy in you um, where the project has to be right before it's presented. Um, and you don't like people in your business. <laughs> and so, you know, they see what they see and usually it's the byproduct or the after. Now we have Aquarius right here, right? And Aquarius is coming in and it's like, you know, this person at the same time, like they're stuck where they are because they think they know everything. They don't want to be told different, right? So when you do try to give them solid advice, they shrug it off. They, 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 they don't take any of it. And the funny thing about this person is um, they really don't need to be pitied at all. This is not someone that needs to be felt like, oh, we feel sorry for them because um, they're actually very capable. They're very brilliant people. Um, and they can be successful if they actually applied themselves. But it, again, would require them to remove themselves out of this victimhood mentality where they just say, well, life just keeps happening to me and there's nothing I can do about it. And it's like when you affirm those things in your life, then that's exactly what your life becomes. That's a word. Um, 
So this person may be someone that's close to you. This person may be a family member of yours or a former friend that has grown distant, uh, distant, sorry. Um, I definitely wouldn't take anything that they say or do personally um, because it is a projection. Um, you probably still care about them. I, I'm seeing that as well, um, but you just don't really know how to, like y'all don't know how to have a healthy um, dialogue, I'll say. Um, when it comes to where they are in life and, and what you want for them and what they want for themselves and yada, yada, yada. Um, so the most that you can do right now is just wish them, the, wish them the best without getting caught in like their will of toxicity, okay? I did pull a intended advice card and that card says surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Now I love a good Venus energy card, okay? Um, so this card is coming in and it's like, <sighs> this hater has not learned how to work with and use their feminine energy to create sweetness and abundance in their life. They watch you. They watch the way that you look and carry yourself. You're probably someone that keeps up your appearance. You're probably very physically attractive. Um, you are probably someone who, you know, uh, takes a lot of Thought You put a lot of thought and care into your physical appearance, your wardrobe, how you come out to present to the world, what have you. And so, you know, and they don't they don't know how to do that for themselves. Right. So I do feel like this person could be a woman or this could just be a very feminine um, person that just hasn't tapped into it yet, though. Um, so they watch you and they see you and, you know, they see that they don't know how to do it for themselves. And so there we go again with the limiting beliefs that they have about themselves. It keeps them in that negative paradigm that we were talking about earlier. Um, so if you are a spiritual worker, which I feel like some of you guys are a spiritual worker, um, you know, and, you know, or, you know, if you do, if you're not a spiritual worker and you do have like a favorite witch or magic practitioner, um, and more importantly, if you care enough about who this person is that I'm talking about, um, I would say to see if you can um, work with the spirits of Venus. I mean, this is a Venus card. Um, so if you can work with the spirits of Venus, because Venus is about um, beauty. Venus is about love. Venus is um, the energy of, you know, just feeling good. I mean, it says pleasure here. Venus is about pleasure. Venus is about luxury. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's a very, you know, beautiful energy card. Okay. And so, you know, working with the spirits of Venus uh, can typically, when, when you're working with those spirits, you can conjure in some of those qualities into your life. Um, or you can even remove the negative energy surrounding their aura that's preventing them from experiencing those, um, uh, as those, those, uh, <laughs> those uh, things, like those things that uh, Venus can offer, like sometimes there's something blocking them from experiencing that. So you can work to block that as well. Again, if you give a damn, if you don't ignore what I just said. Um, but the reason you have to give a damn is because um, that's a lot of work to do. And working with spirits um, can be uh, sometimes very draining to do. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Don't take that decision lightly at all. So only venture into it if you feel called to do so. Um, let's go ahead and go into the tarot. So, oh, these cards are actually supposed to be upright. I did pull all of my tarot cards upright for you guys. So we have the tower, wheel of fortune, ten of wands, seven of wands, and the queen of pentacles. Excuse me, I almost had to sneeze. Um, so for the tarot, just to kind of sum everything up, because that's what I'm feeling. And this is a summation. Um, this person is uh, self-destructive and self-sabotaging. We talked about that with the prison way. But this person, um, you know, um, it's never it's never anything that's like truly just like, you know, that whatever happens to them, like they, I feel like they're a little dramatic. That's this also what I'm coming off as like uh, the word that's coming out in my head is like this person um, tends to be a little dramatic. And that's what I was saying. Like, look, don't take what they're saying personal because it's probably not even actually that deep. They're just, you know, in their feels. Um, but um, at the same time, this person has to understand that continuing to view the world the way that they do, as long as they have breath in their body, they can change their perspective. Um, and, 
um, they kind of have to do that if, if they want to change it. Now, you can serve as an inspiration to them, you know, just by living your life. But I feel like this person um, thinks that when life knocks you down, you, you kind of have to make a pallet and go to sleep. Um, and so, um, again, if you care, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to share a bit more, a bit more of your testimony. Maybe some of the things that they don't understand, some of the things that they are assuming happens, um, but actually didn't happen. Um, I feel like you and yourself have a very past, uh, powerful testimony that could um, help uh, really um, shape how people see the world um, because you have been through some things um, yourself. Um, so they understand what's possible um, because I see uh, the 10 of wands here, right? right here right and so when i when i see the ten of wands it's kind of like you know like i said like you've been through some you've been through some stuff too you you've had to you've had burdens on you as well so you both have that in common now with the seven of wands telling me that you are a warrior and you are not afraid of a challenge um and this is kind of your flowers car like you deserve the seat at your table like you deserve your flowers um and so like i said you are a natural inspiration just be by what you have accomplished and overcome in your own life. And that Queen of Pentacles is saying, you know, um, again, maybe that testimony, it, it can it can it can kind of serve as you being caring to other people. Um, so earlier, like, you know, when I was saying if you do work and feel compelled to work with the spirits of Venus or do a simple like road opener uh, spell for this person, um, then definitely I would say follow your intuition because I do feel like some of you guys are spiritual workers. Um, but yeah, I think that this person, it, they they look up to you, <laughs> even though they probably will never tell you that they do, they look up to you. So, you know, like I said, you know, just by you sharing a little more about your testimony, what you have overcome and how you've come to this place, um, I think would help them because at that point, it's not an opinion, it's your experience, it's your life. You can't, you can't, you know, like reject that. So um, something to think about if this reading resonates in any way. Uh, Ashe, I'm very grateful for that. Thank you guys for, for, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for rocking with me. I so appreciate you guys. I'm this, yeah, I just can't, I can't even begin to think about like the words to properly express how grateful I am for you guys. So I'm not gonna hold you up. I, as always, am wishing you and sending you positivity, love, and light, and more importantly, group for healing, okay? Um, thank you guys again for watching, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.